Hi there. In this video, I will be introducing chamfering and deburring operations using a lathe machine. I will show you how to set up a workpiece and create chamfers along the workpiece edge and how to remove burrs from a workpiece. Firstly, clamp the workpiece onto the chuck. Most operations, such as facing and turning, should be completed before chamfering. Secondly, remove the tool on the quick change tool post, if any, and move the carriage away from the chuck. Thirdly, set up the machine with the lowest spindle speed. You may need to change the gear setting at the headstock. Then, switch on the spindle and reduce the spindle speed. Finally, place the file on the workpiece. When using a file to chamfer or deburr, hold the file with both hands, tilt it at a 45 degree angle, and place it at the edges of the workpiece. Move the file to use more surface area to remove the material. Watch your hands. Ensure you do not put your hands in the path of the spinning chuck and jaws. Do not hold the file at its ends or with one hand. Do not push down too hard onto the workpiece. Switch off the spindle and check the edges periodically to check the chamfer angle and the amount of material removed. Depending on the desired chamfer amount, repeat the procedures. For deburring, file lightly to remove any burrs. Prolonged filing will create a chamfer instead. After using the file, brush the file with a wire brush. Keeping the file clean will ensure the grooves in the file is clear of debris for efficient filing. Brush the file along the grooves and on both sides of the file. This is how a clean file looks like. Chamfering could also be done using a facing and turning tool. Firstly, lock the tool onto the quick change tool post. and angle the tool towards the workpiece. The angle of the tool will determine the chamfer angle. Secondly, switch on the spindle. Set the spindle speed and bring the tool close to the workpiece. Notice the tool is on the opposite side of the workpiece. Thus, the spindle direction needs to be reversed. Pull the lever downward to reverse the spindle direction. Feed the tool slowly, longitudinally. If need be, use the cross feed to adjust the position of the tool. Stop the spindle and check the cut chamfer. If needed, adjust the tool angle and position for a second cut. The demonstrations you saw are the typical chamfering and deburring operation for various workpiece sizes. Ensure you set the lowest spindle speed and watch your fingers. Working with aluminium and steel is very different. For steel, it is not as easy as the material is much tougher. There may be cases where a facing and turning tool is needed to produce a chamfer. Speak to a SP staff if you are required to chamfer steel.